Hey guys, we are going to copy off of Lorna Simpson, really awesome artist, and we are going to take a picture and cut it out, and we are going to draw crystals um, coming out from the animal's head. So here's an example of one we could do. Here's an example of one we could do. Here's an example of one we could do. So the first thing we're going to do is find our animal. So I'm going to use this guy and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just cut out just the head part of this guy. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to have fun with it. I want to take a picture of something or someone and I want to draw crystals coming out from behind that person or animal. I love animals. All right. So the first thing I would do is decide where I want my animal, and I think I want my animal there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my animal. Actually, before I glue my animal, oh goodness, I'm going to trace my animal. So I take it back, trace first. Draw the crystals, color the crystals, glue last. So here's my animal ready to be glued on, but I'm not quite gluing yet. First, I want to draw some crystals coming out from um, my animal's head. So all sorts of places, I'm going to go ahead and put kind of like three lines, three or four lines um, that start at a point here. Here's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. When I have all these kind of just random lines drawn up here, then I'm going to go ahead and connect those lines. However, I want to connect them. There's no right or wrong. Just kind of be artsy about it. You might have to take your eraser if you have one random line moving on up. Okay, then I want to draw lines. to my animal's head. And now that I have my crystals drawn, I'm going to draw lines that go to the head too. Wherever you see like a point, draw a line all the way down to the head. Draw a line all the way down to the head. All right, then in between, I just kind of want to draw lines. There we go. Now I'm ready to go over it with a thin black marker or a dark crayon. So I kind of need a scrap paper under here because it's a Sharpie. I don't want to ruin the table if I can help it. I'm just going to go over all those lines. There's no right or wrong. Gonna have fun with these crystally shapes. Color them all sorts of different colors.
Alrighty, now I have all these kind of crystally fun shapes coming out. I'm going to go ahead and erase any and all of the pencil lines. And after I erase the pencil lines, I'm going to go ahead and abracadabra this up and add some color. Poof! Alrighty, so now I have um, drawn some crystals coming out of the top of my um, dog's head. So, or I should say magazine dog. So I'm going to use the glue and I'm going to go ahead and add some glue. And so Lorna Simpson, she always used, she usually used um, like a woman model. But I'm going to go ahead and glue down my magazine part. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of glue, glue it down. And there we go, boys and girls. There's my art piece. Um, and remember, I can color them and draw them however I want. A couple crystals, a lot of crystals. I can draw a little um, fun little dots around the crystals. I can use a dog with sunglasses. I can go with the rainbow color look. Thank you so much for listening, boys and girls. I appreciate it.